Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can go rock pooling and see creatures glow in the dark. No, seriously, if you haven't seen it, check out my spooky special for Halloween where we go rock pooling and see a load of glow in the dark colourful creatures. It's fantastic, it's incredible. I can't believe this spooky glow in the dark world exists and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can go out and do that for yourselves. Mm. So what are you going to need to make these marvellous marine creatures glow in the dark? We are going to need a blackout curtain. This is really important because it's going to mean that even in the middle of the day you can completely block out the light, make sure it's nice and dark and the species then are going to be shining. I got this as a pack of two for £12 and uh, I got the smallest size. I'll link below so you can check out what I got. That's, that works perfectly fine. I suppose the bigger you get the easier it's going to be to block out the light but I'm finding that this works okay. Next you're going to use, need a UV torch. I mean this is key. It's the UV light that makes it fluoresce. I've got this to be splash proof and a little bit waterproof. You can get fully waterproof ones, but um, I don't think you really need that for this. And it's a bit more expensive, but this just means having it splash proof and a little bit waterproof means that, you know, as your hands get wet, as it's a little bit drizzly, it's still gonna work and it's not gonna break. So that's gonna be really handy. This also has a setting on it that is uh, a normal torch, which I don't really need because it's the middle of the day. But if you're going night rock pooling, it might be handy. But I also think it might be handy to have two torches if you're night rock pooling so that you've always got access to a bit of light, even when you're doing the UV stuff. But yeah, this works great and I'll link to that below as well. And you're also gonna need one of these, which actually this is a silicon baking tray because I can squidge it up and fit it in my bag. But anything like a bucket or a container is gonna work perfectly fine. It just means that because it's a bit difficult to, especially in the day, get the UV light to work on a creature in a rock pool, you can gently take it out and put it in here, cover it up, make sure it's nice and dark, have a look and see what it looks like um, under darkness and then gently put it back without disturbing it too much. And so that works really well for this for me. And you're also going to need stuff like wellies and a foam just for general safety measures. But if you want to find out how to go rock pooling, what to bring and how to be safe, then check out my tips and tricks video here so that you're having the most fun and being safe while you do so. Once you've got all your equipment, there's really two main ways that you can kind of work out a way to get the darkness there. One great way is to sit down, put the animal that you want to look at in the tray and have it on your lap. And then you can kind of, you know, look like an elegant sitting ghost and get that kind of whole tray covered by the blanket and over your head and that means you can get a really good really really dark um, environment for you to look and, and shine the torch on. That works for any species that uh, are mobile, that can move, that you can take off of the rocks. But when it comes to species that are stuck on the rocks, you kind of have to do a, uh, a bit of uh, yoga on the rocky shore. Make sure you're careful, make sure you always know um, your surroundings, don't slip or trip and pick a really safe spot. But it is possible to um, to kind of bend over, put the, uh, the curtain over your head and you can kind of wrap it around whatever you want to look at, hold it close and kind of cut off all of the light and get it really dark so you can still look at species even if um, you can't get them into the tray. <laughs> but I would just like to take a moment to acknowledge just how amazing this looks. I would just like to say... <laughs> I am... <laughs> I am... <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I have never been... <laughs> filmed more no I've never been stared at more whilst filming a video ever because I mean these creatures are amazing but it's just I just need to put in like what I look like it's just I highly mean, recommend doing it I mean don't let this stop you from from doing this because it's so so much fun but like it's just, I just need to take a moment to acknowledge what that, just... <laughs> Hello everyone! Now, when you're doing this um, for yourself, you might notice that I'm pulling all of these poses. I will say, you see a lot more fluorescence or thing in person, so you'll see more um, than you're seeing on the camera. For some reason the camera isn't picking up some of it. 
and you're also uh it'll be a lot easier i'm finding it a bit hard to like use one hand for the torch one hand for the camera it doesn't really give me another hand to like close off the blanket whereas if you have one hand to have the torch and one hand to hold this like um curtain around your head then you actually get pitch black and you can use and see see a ton it's only when i'm introducing the camera that i'm losing that a little bit and light kind of starts to seep in so if you're not interested in filming or you you know you want to just experience it more then this is totally really simple and easy and you are seeing loads okay so when you're using the torch to look at the species uh, under uv light you'll have like a beam of light that is like really strong and then a kind of peripheral bit of a uv light that's the best the periphery bit is the best bit to use if you shine the uv light directly at the animal it's just kind of going to flare up all pink or purple but actually using just the peripheral kind of uv light just being in uv light you'll see actually the parts of that creature that are going to glow and and that's how i managed to get the really awesome blue glowing legs of the crab and that in the other video so that's how you kind of see and you don't overexpose everything to uv light so fantastic for you guys to try out it's a, i think this has been really successful it's a really easy way for people to see this glow in the dark right in the middle of the day so if going night rock pulling isn't for you or not really an option it's a really easy simple and safe way for you to check out this really awesome feature of marine life that they're also glow in the dark i mean at this point it's just getting ridiculous isn't it sea life is just too good it's too amazing it's 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 putting the rest of the world to shame it's just too cool and uh, I, I don't know how we're going to cope with this i think the only way for me to cope with this is is to just keep coming rock pulling I, th I think that might be how i cope with it well i'm secretly hoping that part of this video you have all decided to become ghosts i really want this to be a trend let's start this being a trend of sending me your pictures of ghosts on the rocky shore and let's haunt the shores of the uk and all look amazing together as this really classy look let me know in the comments below if you're going rock pooling what you've seen what you're gonna do and what you find when you uh dress up as ghosts. Ooh.